I was like, that is not an eye. <laughs> I don't. I just don't want to have a job where I gotta ask people. You know what I'm saying? Would you like extra butter with that? Like that's just not. <laughs> like I don't. I don't want. I don't. I don't want to work at a movie theater. Like that shit is real depressing. Like like you see the people that work at movie theaters. Like they don't seem like the happiest people in the world. They really don't. <laughs> I gotta be using this hard ass motherfucker. He, he hard to use because he's slow. Uh, yeah. He <laughs> called crocodile, nigga. <laughs> uh, called crocodile, nigga. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, yeah, crocodile. Uh, hard to use. Mm, I wonder if they gonna have us going up against red. Nope, they got us going up against Zoro. But yeah. Oh, and Mihawk. Oh, damn. I mean, you using him, shit. He ain't the easiest character in the world to use. This nigga's big and slow. I don't, I don't like him. Yeah. Support what? That was his, uh. I, I, truth be told, like, I can't even remember, because. Uh uh, nah. Um, I'd actually, like, forgot why they call him Crocodile. I don't know if that was his real name or if that was, like, his code name. Because, like, he had, like, this group at the time called uh, Baroque Works. And everybody in the group had, like, these weird powers. And their numbers went from, I don't know, from, you know, something to something. But, but uh, uh, they operated, like, <clears throat> the... At uh, higher that uh, the uh, number was, the other uh, 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 oh shit, the um, stronger the, the, uh, the person was, and you know, so like crocodile, you know, so like him as well. Um, Mr. Zero. So, 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 so like he was like the strongest member of the group. <clears throat> but yeah. I, I think they had like uh, Mr. Two Bond Clay. Uh they had Mr. Three, uh, Mr. Four, you know what I'm saying? Miss Five and you know, nicknames like that. And like I said, it was all just based on how strong like the person was, you know what I'm saying? Like that was a, it was all just based on like strength with with the group. Yeah. How the hell did he miss the whole goddamn body? Dude, dude is literally made out of sand. Yeah, because he ate the sand sand feet. Yeah, in the One Piece anime, like there's like these weird fruits that can grant you, you know, some like yeah, like like some special powers. Uh, like you have uh, uh um Luffy, <laughs> uh, um. Special match. Uh, buggy. Um, let me go back. It's basically like this: certain people have like certain, you know, certain like fruit powers, and other people are just like highly skilled. Yeah, like I, I could use them if I want to, but, but they got like a, a, a special match that I want to do, and they got me using Captain Buggy, the clown. And, He's another devil fruit eater. Yeah, like that's the name of the fruit. Um, he had, I'm uh, like ate the chop chop fruit. For pretty much with him, it's like, no matter how much like he gets sliced up, you know, so like he could just uh, you know, so uh, 
yeah, like reassemble itself. You remind me of Roger and that brat. Your red nose. Your nose is as red as ever. I'll show you a red nose. Ah, huh? You're still after me? What a snot nose brat. Oh no, look at those eyes. I'm a dead clown walking. It's over. I gotta get out of here. Fight! Yeah, because I guess like White Bear, like, you know, like he was like the strongest pirate in the anime. <laughs> you know, like he was believed to be like the like most feared pirate in the anime, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much like they're all pirates. But like, um, <clears throat> he was a part of this group of pirates uh, called the Four Emperors. It was him, Red Hair, Shanks, Big Mama, and it was somebody else. Uh, I'm like, I think some big lion looking dude. Yeah, actually, um, he was, well, <clears throat> well, well, like pretty much back in like the earlier, like days of the anime, uh, uh, uh storyline he he actually ran with one of the four emperors uh, and uh like eventually like they parted ways after he had ate his own like fruit uh powers and all that you know what I'm and like he made like his own crew yeah Got a clown dude that I'm playing at right now. It's pretty good, like, once you get deeper into it. It's, like, real action-packed. It's, like... You know. Oh, yeah, they do a lot of fighting. I like it's real uh, entertaining too, and it's like real humorous at times. And it's real funny. Ah, I'm gonna keep dodging. Very much, very much you got like uh, stick and move. And him being able to, you know, so separate his body like that, he is convenient. Yeah. So, so pretty much like you can't be killed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. You would have to learn. I mean, that or... <clears throat> or, or like... See, the one thing about the Devil Fruit Powers is that anybody that gets it... Like, once they get, like, knee deep in salt water, like, they can't swim. Like, pretty much like the fruit, you know what I'm saying? makes them, uh... Um... Uh... Paralyzed in water, so like they can't move. Or, or at least that's how the anime has it. <clears throat> that once they get knee deep in, in uh, some salt water, their body becomes weak, and if they get uh, like up t t to their neck in salt water, th th then they can't move at all. Yeah, like you can just toss them into like the ocean, but some of these dudes have like some interesting ways to use their powers to where like they won't end up in the water. And so, yeah, because, <laughs> yeah, so 
that's kind of like one of the things about the anime. It's like you got these people that got these extraordinary powers, but, but because they have them, you know what I'm saying, they can't swim. So, yeah, it's, it's kind of like an interesting angle. <laughs>